Hello everybody. We've been shooting our Heritage Rough Rider 22LR single action pistol a lot lately. About time for a good cleaning. Thought we'd bring you guys along while we clean this thing. I know most of you know how to clean ones, but uh, there probably are some people that don't, so I've had some requests, you know, asking me how would uh, you go about it, so I'm going to show you guys. Here we go. Now, uh, this one is unloaded. I've already safety checked it. Everything is unloaded. I'm going to put us some towels down to uh, catch any excess fluid that we might have. Also, this particular gun has a got a 22 Magnum cylinder that goes with it. So we're also going to clean that. These little orange discs here, they're just, uh, they're just protection for the, uh, for the teeth here that rotate the, the cylinder. So we're going to take them off. And, uh, let's get started. Okay, we're going to put our magnum cylinder up here. First thing we're going to do is put the gun on half cock. Open up the loading gate. We're going to come over here to this side. There's a button right here that's on a spring, spring loaded. You just push in on it, you release, and it comes right back. Push it in and hold it. Grab this, this rod right here. You push it up with your fingernail. We can get a hold of it and just pull it straight on out. Lay it up here. Now, at this point, with your loading gate open, you can take your entire cylinder out. And here it is. Put it up here. Okay. Let's get our, uh, let's get our stuff here. Now, what I like to do is I like to spray these cylinders down. This is, this is hops, number nine. I just give them both a generous spray on both sides. Then we're going to get our cleaning rod. And we're going to uh, get, our, get our bore mop attached to our cleaning rod and we're going to get our hoppies number nine solvent it's just hoppies number nine We're going to take it through the cylinders where the bullets go. And then I always take it through that middle where that rod goes to. Let it all work. Might put just a little bit more on there. Get everything good and set down. And now, while we got the bore mop on before we get rid of it, let's wet it down real good. Take it down the end of this barrel. I imagine it's pretty dirty. 
we'll let that be soaking. Take our board mop off. Get our brass bristle brush, 22 caliber. We're going to take it down the barrel. Well, I'm going to give it a little spray first. And we're going to take it down the barrel. Many times as you want to. I think about 20 times is sufficient the way I look at it. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our uh, a jag here with the uh, with the patch loop on it. Going to get us a patch. Wet it down. Thread it through there just like you're threading a needle. Okay, once you get that through you can take your uh, cylinders, start working them over to three, you just work your way around four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, you see there's quite a bit of carbon coming out of it. Take it down that center hole two or three times. One, two, three. And six. All right. Get us a fresh patch. That one's dirty. Put our hoppies on it. work this magnum cylinder over. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. You get the idea without the counting. Through the center and then one more time through the cylinders. This one's not as dirty. I didn't shoot it as much. That 22 Magnum ammo is pretty pretty hard to come by around these parts, so I don't shoot a whole lot of that. Then you can take this little patch here. As you can see, it is fairly has a lot of carbon on it. Let's clean this little rod up with it. Uh, it's got still got quite a bit of that hoppies on it. I'll just clean that rod up there. Set it aside. Take us a couple of more patches. Knowing them down with the hoppies. We're going to take this loop jag off and put a different kind of jag on for the barrel of the gun. Put just a regular, regular pointed jag on there. And we're gonna, we're gonna seat our patches on there. Right down the, right down the bore of the gun. Okay, you can see it come out pretty, pretty black there. A lot of carbon. Turn it over and go through there again. Hell, gonna go one more time. Now 
as you can see this one came out quite a bit cleaner that hoppage does a good job it really it really takes that stuff out of there all right there we go we got a clean barrel now okay just uh Let's see if I can find our brush here. And I can't. Oh, here it is. Here's our brush. I'll put a little hoppies on that. Just a couple of sprays. We're going to get the outside of these cylinders here. This one's not too bad. The 22 Magnum's not too awful bad. You can tell the 22 Magnum. Let me show you the difference. The 22 LR has a fluted cylinder. See the flutes? And the 22 Mag doesn't have it. Plus it says, it says right here on the side, 22 Mag. And it'll say on this one 22LR if I can find it. Yeah, there it is. 22LR. So, well, we've got some hoppies on this brush. Let's get this inside of this gun here. This revolver. working over really good pull your pull your uh, pull your hammer back and expose your hand see this piece right here this piece right here is called the hand when you let that down the hand goes down now watch it, it'll come back up. See, it's coming back up there. There's your hand right there. See it move? That hand engages this spline right here. And it pushes it up, rotates your cylinder. That's why you have to, that's why you have to cock it back every time. That's what, that's what rotates your cylinder. That hand right there. So we're going to let that sit just a minute and uh, we're going to work on these, uh, these cylinders. We're going to spray this rag down with a little, this patch down with a little ballast off. Ballast off some good lubricant. We're going to lubricate the inside of these barrels. I mean these cylinders. Plus I like the smell of it. It's got a really good smell. So we're going to take it to there once, twice, three, four, five. Six. Let's go again just in case we miss one. Two, three, four, five, six, and then right down the middle a couple of times. Let's get the magnum cylinder. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a couple of times down the center. patch with a ballast all on it go over our locking pin put it over there <clears throat> uh, 
Okay, we're going to clean up the inside of this gun. We're going to take a nice, nice big patch. See, it's, it's kind of got a lot of powder residue in there. We're going to get it all cleaned out. We're going to take a little bit of this, uh, little bit of this oil. And we're going to lubricate this uh, cylinder stop right here. We're just going to put a drop of oil right there on that. We're going to put a drop on the hand right here. And we're going to put a drop on the pivot pin right where, where the hammer goes right there. And that's all the oil and we're going to do. We work it over a little bit. Operate the operate the hammer and let everything kind of kind of settle down there. Yeah. Nice and clean. Okay. Let's clean up our our pen. And let's take a dry patch and run it down the uh, through the cylinders. patches clean one through there you just kind of repeat the process the more you do it the cleaner you cleaner everything will get plus it dries out of excess oil and stuff out of there too I think I'm getting out of frame here some on this I hope I didn't but I probably did I'm bad about that I think because I can see it, you guys can see it too, but you get the general idea of what I'm doing here. Just get another clean patch. Run through that magnum cylinder. And we should be good to go. down the barrel clean it up real good I think actually I got two patches on there but maybe they'll fit just barely yeah that's nice that will work out well okay let's put this thing back together back in frame here okay to accomplish this we're going to uh, put the revolver on half cock and get our pin we're going to get it started it goes in this hole right here we just want to get it started see how it goes all the way through there we don't want that we just want it right there right there okay with our with our weapon on half cock we want to put our put our cylinder in at the same time we want to be pushing down on that pin 
you can feel it when it engages and you just push it all the way through till it clicks. That locks it in there. Do a function test. Safety. Safety's working. Everything seems to be in good shape, so we're going to give it a final wipe down here. And uh, then we're going to put it back in the holster. Load it up, put it back in the holster. It'll be ready to go the next time. Let's take and put our little safety. Yeah, put that on there so it, the cylinder don't get messed up. And it's got a little hole right here in that case. It's got a little hole right there in that case. The box that it came in where you can store your cylinder. And we're good to go. Okay, well I appreciate y'all watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe you got a little something out of it if you didn't know how to clean a revolver. Maybe you, uh, if you did, maybe it won't be boring you too bad. It's uh, just some, that, something that people have been asking me about and want to know. So uh, uh, I just thought I'd do it. While we got this thing down, let's pull this, uh, let's pull this uh, thread protector off. Give those threads a little wipe down. And a little, little ballast all to keep them lubed up. Yeah, that's good. Alright. I like that ballast all. Don't know what I did without it. I was kind of late to the game on it. Everybody else was using it before I did, but uh, <laughs> better late than never, I guess. All right, guys, that's it. Appreciate y'all watching. If you like the videos and you want to see more, you know what to do. Catch you on the next one. Bye.